Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. So I have some new backdrops that I wanted to show you guys. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a new flower wall that I got. And then in my next video, I'm gonna be showing you a new shimmer wall that I got. So I'm super excited. I always get excited when I get new inventory. So as you can see, or you may be able to see, there's a couple of boxes behind me. So I'm gonna get started setting up this new flower wall. I got it from Rose Morning. I just love their flower walls, right? And I actually have a discount code for you. So I'm gonna put the discount code in the description, right? So if you're interested, and purchasing your own flower wall, you could use that discount, all right? So let me start setting up the backdrop and then I'll walk you through, you know, how I'm setting it up and then also some additional decorations that I got to go with it. All right, so let's get started. So I wanted to show you what I just found. Do you see this here? This is Velcro. And as you can see, it goes from the top of this flower wall. I'm just gonna step back so that you can see it. It goes from the top of the flower wall all the way down to the bottom of the flower wall. I don't know, I completely missed this with my white flower wall that I set up for you guys. I didn't see this Velcro. This is gonna make it much easier to attach the two pieces. So let me finish setting this up. All right, guys, so here's my new red flower wall. I love this. I think I like this flower wall 
just a little bit better than my last flower wall because I just love this color, right? Everybody needs some color in their lives. You know, this color is romantic and it's vibrant. I just love it, all right? So let me show you one of the things that I'm gonna be adding to accent this flower wall. I mean, this flower wall is beautiful all on its own, but of course, you know me, I wanna add something to it to just kick it up a notch. So I got these oversized roses. Let me take a step back, hopefully you can see it. I love these. These are so pretty, right? And it comes in two pieces. So as you can see, here's the stem, right? And then there's a screw at the top of it. And then there's a screw on the bottom of this. So you just attach it. It's super simple. You just attach it. Okay? So you just screw it in. Oh my gosh, I love these. And these are perfect, right, for props. So this could be a photo booth, right? And then people can use this to take pictures with. Or, you know, even if you don't have this beautiful backdrop, you could just have these, right, and use these as props in a photo shoot. I love these, okay? Now, these large flowers do not stand up on their own. So um, I'll put the link in the description if you want to purchase a stand for these. I'm just going to put these in some vases, okay? So I have some tall vases. I'm going to put them in the vases and then put some stones and some little pebbles on the bottom just to make sure that these don't tip over the vases because, you know, they're, they're a little bit heavy. They're not very heavy, but they do have just a little bit of weight to them, okay? And I don't want the glass vases tipping over and breaking. All right, so next I wanna add a sign to this backdrop. Now this red backdrop is so romantic. So of course, I wanted to do a will you marry me sign because I plan on using this flower wall for proposals. So as you can see, I have a neon sign. I'm super excited. This is the first time that I'm gonna be using a neon sign. Don't worry, I'll make sure I put the link in the description of this video. This is actually a custom size because I wanted it to be big enough, right? I wanted this to be big so that when I use it at an event, everybody can see that it says, will you marry me? So I wanted to get a big sign. You don't have to get a neon sign this big. This was just my choice, okay? So this is my first time that I'm gonna be hanging a neon sign and this is a flower wall so I'm like okay how am I gonna hang it I think I'm gonna use some binder clips and some fishing line because as you can see I'm gonna zoom in hopefully you can see this but there's holes at the top of this um, neon sign there are also a couple at the bottom of this neon sign okay so I'm gonna put the fishing line through these holes. And then what I think I'm gonna do, let me just show you. So I'm gonna use this. This is a binder clip, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the fishing line through these holes that are on the neon sign. And then I'm gonna use this binder clip and attach it to the flowers. Now I'm gonna be very careful and make sure you know that I attach it to flowers that are sturdy. So I'm just gonna attach this to the flowers and then I'm just going to tie my fishing line around this binder clip, okay? So I'll try to zoom in so I can show you what I did afterwards, but you may not be able to see it because fishing line is clear, right?
So I just finished hanging my sign and I plugged it in so that you could see what it looks like all lit up. Now, I would highly recommend that you have someone else helping you when it comes to hanging your signs. Because as you can see in the beginning, my sign was crooked and then I was trying to figure out how to straighten it out. The next time, I'll definitely have my son helping me so that he could tell me, you know, if the sign is crooked or not, all right? Now, with these neon signs, they have a plug attached to it so that you can plug it in and light it up. What I did so that you couldn't see the plug and the cord is that I just hid the cord behind the flowers. They gave me extra flowers with this backdrop. So I used those extra flowers to just hide the cord so you can't see that, all right? Now, last but not least, I'm gonna add some candles and my pedestals to this backdrop because I really wanna kick up the romance and then I'll make sure to show you everything after I'm done. If you guys have any questions on where I got any of my materials, please make sure you check the description of this video. I'll put the links for everything that I use in the description of this video.